Thousands of demonstrators gathered outside the court to await the verdict. This was the moment they heard the news. <laughs> Courtroom stills show the judges delivering it. Seven leaders of Golden Dawn convicted of running a criminal organization. Dozens more for joining it and carrying out numerous acts of violence. Also in court, Magda Fisser, mother of the anti-fascist rapper Pavlos Fisser, stabbed to death by a Golden Dawn supporter in 2013, who was convicted today as well. The verdict was welcomed across the political spectrum. As Prime Minister, I consciously refrain from commenting on court decisions. As a Greek citizen, however, I share the universal satisfaction for the recognition of its criminal character. In the conscience of the Greek people, they are a criminal organisation and will go where they deserve, into the rubbish bin of history, as is appropriate from the battles waged by the people and this country. This is seen as a crucial moment of healing in Greek politics, a chance to close one of its darkest chapters. Rocked by its debt crisis and economic collapse, Golden Dawn won 18 parliamentary seats in 2012, becoming the third largest party. Under the leadership of notorious Holocaust denier Nikos Mikaloliakos, its followers were involved in attacks on immigrants, trade unionists and anyone who stood up to them. But following the murder of Pavlos Fissa, Greeks took to the streets to show their revulsion. The movement began to break apart, and authorities launched their case, arresting leaders and foot soldiers alike. That was more than five years ago. The group's leaders faced prison sentences of up to 15 years. None were in court on Wednesday. Outside, there were brief clashes between anti-fascist activists and police. But for the vast majority of Greeks, Wednesday's verdict, although a long time coming, will be welcomed with great relief. Simon McGregorwood, TRT World.